I am ridiculously in love with this vegetable. Sorry for the dad joke, but I am a dad now, so it's all good. All right, so there's two main types of radicchio, chioggia and the more elongated one, treviso. They can be used interchangeably and they're just named after the region that they're grown. I would say that the treviso one is a little bit less mild and bitter, but give me all the bitter. There's a reason I love my Campari. Now you can eat these raw and slaws and salads and they are more bitter, but we're gonna cook this down a bit and it's gonna be a little bit more mellow and just faintly in the background the bitter taste that we're gonna have, but it's gonna go well with everything else. So if you're not too familiar and you're a little bit on the fence, stick with me, this recipe is a good one. So for me, I'm gonna go with the Kyoja variety just because I want more of a bitter taste and I just love this vegetable and the beautiful purple color that it has. You know, if Thanos was a vegetable, I think he would be radicchio. Slice your radicchio in half and remove the core. And then finally chop up your radicchio and you can have long strands if you like or you can finally chop it up, whatever you want. I'm gonna finally chop it up into small pieces. Once done, just add to a bowl and set aside. Next up is half of a small red onion that you can finely dice or chop it up and then once done, place in a bowl. And if you're left with a little chunk like this, save it for your soups and stocks. Walnuts are the finishing touch for this dish and add a great texture. I have 60 grams of chopped walnuts that I'm gonna just chop up just a little bit more. Here's the first of four cheeses for this recipe, 150 grams of mascarpone cheese that is going to add a nice creaminess. Then we have 250 grams of fresh mozzarella for that nice stringy melty action and some more creaminess as well. And then we have the star of the dish alongside the radicchio, gorgonzola dolce, 200 grams. A beautiful, creamy, sweet, full-flavored porcelain-like cheese that is one of Italy's favorites. Not as strong as other blue cheeses, but still has hints of that blue cheese taste. Perfect for someone that may need an introduction to the world of blue cheese. For the last of the four cheeses, we have the ever-trustworthy Parmigiano-Reggiano. Finally, great 50 grams of a snowy mountain's worth. In a pot on low to medium heat, add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then add the red onions and season with salt, freshly cracked pepper, and some chili flakes for some heat. And then just saute and cook the onions until tender. Then we're gonna add the radicchio and season with a little bit more salt and begin to cook that down until slightly wilted. At this point, we're gonna add 100 milliliters of heavy cream, the mascarpone cheese, the gorgonzola, and slowly stir and melt it all away until a nice, rich, velvety sauce forms. We're gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to taste, and then we're gonna taste and adjust any seasonings, and now let's cook our pasta. Salt a pot of boiling water, and add 500 grams of rigatoni, and cook about three quarters of the way through. Once done, we're gonna drain, and this is how you want the pasta to be cooked. It has a bit of give and isn't fully cooked, and you can see if you take a bite that there's a bit of the white ring around it. We want this because it's gonna finish cooking in the sauce when we put it in the oven, and at that point, it's gonna be perfectly cooked. If we fully cooked it before putting it in the oven in the sauce, it might just become too gummy. We're gonna add the radicchio and cheese sauce into the pasta, and if it's too thick, you can add a bit of pasta water if needed, and then we're gonna to mix to incorporate everything. Then grab a nice casserole dish, something with some high edges, and then we're gonna start layering. Add enough pasta to cover the bottom of your dish, and then we're gonna grab the mozzarella and tear pieces all over, and then we're gonna layer with more pasta and then more mozzarella, and then when the pasta is done, cover with all that Parmigiano Reggiano. And then we're gonna add the walnuts and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil all over just to help with the crispiness. Then we're gonna place this heavy ass dish in an oven at 425 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. I like to broil for the last few minutes just before taking out to get that extra crisp. And there it is. It's nicely browned and crispy. It looks delicious. Grab a nice piece with a cheese pull, of course, and you know what to do. Bring it to the table. All right, so the key word to describe this dish is comfort and cheesy and of course delicious. It's one of those dishes that is gonna put you back in bed 
or on the couch for the rest of the day. And with it being so cold out, I don't mind. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.